50 volunteers take on the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Looking at the SEC West standings, Alabama leading the way, followed by LSU, and then everybody's bunched up in the middle. Mississippi State one and two on the year. In the East, Florida and Georgia are tied for the top spot, each three and one after today. Vanderbilt just a half game behind them, but Vandy lost to Georgia today. Tennessee and Kentucky still winless in league play. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Knoxville. I'm Randy Smith along with Pat Ryan. And, Pat, the Vols need a win desperately tonight. They do. They've got to have a win. They're, they're coming in at 2-4, and four, as is Mississippi State. This is a home SEC game. You have to win those. The Mississippi State team has one of the biggest bruising running backs that you'll ever see, Anthony Dixon. He is a hoss. Yeah, he's 6'1", 240 pounds. He's the guy that Sylvester Crim's going to count on to carry their offense. And Mississippi State, of course, there's the starting front five. They lead the SEC in time of possession this year. Mississippi State would love to run a lot of clock tonight. As for Tennessee, Arian Foster against Georgia, three rushes, three yards. He has to be more productive. Yeah, the last four games really hadn't been very productive, only 145 yards. Had a big game against Mississippi State last year with 139 yards. Needs to do it again tonight. Tennessee's starting front line will have Vladimir Richards starting at a guard spot. Anthony Parker moves to the right side. And then in the backfield, along with Foster, the tight end is Luke Stocker. Kevin Cooper, the fullback. Gerald Jones, Lucas Taylor, the wideouts. And, of course, Nick Stevens starting for the third straight game for the Volunteers. As the band has left the field, the teams are on the field. Mississippi State tonight dressed in all white with maroon numerals. White helmets, white jerseys, white pants. And, of course, the Volunteers dressed in their home orange with white pants. Sylvester Kroom, the head coach at Mississippi State, 19 and 34 in the middle of his fifth season as the head coach of the Bulldogs. And of course, Philip Fulmer, head coach of the Volunteers in his 17th season at Tennessee, looking for career win number 150 tonight against Mississippi State. It's also his 200th career game as a head football coach. And Pat Ryan, we talked a little bit about Anthony Parker moving to the other side of the line. Vladimir Richard taking over up front rather than Jock McClendon. And that, that's a little bit of a surprise, but maybe it will help the Volunteers do something to open up some holes. Yeah, they have been getting very little push up front to this point the last few weeks. Wanted to shake some things up, something nobody heard about until they announced the starting lineups tonight. But hopefully that'll be the charge that gets his running game going. Tennessee won the toss as you look at the weather conditions. A beautiful night. A little bit overcast, 57 degrees. Derek Pagues will be back deep to receive the kick from Chad Cunningham to start the game. I guess the only one back near the goal line, and he will come up and take it at the 7. Drop the football at the 10. Orange shirts all around him. They drop him at the 15-yard line, a seven-yard return of the kick. And poor field position for the Bulldogs as they get their first possession of the football game. Bram Cannon. Daryl Vereen made the tackle for Tennessee. Well, not how Mississippi State wanted to start. The geese drops the opening kickoff, recovers it, but only gets it back to the 15-yard line. Tough starting field position. Tyson Lee opens a quarterback. Last week against Vanderbilt threw an interception, 12 of 22 through the air. But the Bulldogs won the ball game. Man in motion to the left. They pitch it back to Dixon. Tennessee swamps him. He's going to lose a couple. All the way back to the 12, maybe the 13-yard line, a loss of three. Rico McCoy was there. So was Wes Brown. Well, just a pitch to Dixon trying to get outside on Tennessee. Tennessee's fast. Devin McKenzie gets up on the outside, bottles him up, gets some help from his buddies. Loss of three. It'll be second down and 13 from the Mississippi State 13-yard line. Second play of the game. Dixon still a tailback. Fullback is Brendan Hart. Tyson Lee, straight drop, pumps once, fakes to the right side, gets it to the running back. That's Dixon, who has the first down, crossing the 25. A screen pass to the right, picks up about 14, and it's a Mississippi State first down. Yeah, well, Tennessee came in eight men in the box, man coverage on the outside. Lee pumped to the left, 
set up a nice screen to the right side. Receiver caught the ball, just plowed ahead, got past the sticks to get Mississippi State out of, out of trouble in their own end zone. They needed 13, they picked up 14. It's first down out to the 28-yard line. Tyson Lee hands to Dixon, straight up the middle, nothing there, maybe a yard if that. They will unstack, that could be a loss on the play, we'll see where they mark the football. DeMonte Bolden tackled Dixon after a loss of, uh, well, that's a gain of a couple. Well, this is a defensive lineman's game tonight, it really is. Uh, Dixon, he wants to run the ball straight at you. Mississippi State's going to bring it right at the defensive lineman, especially the defensive tackles are going to have to step up. Bolden did a good job right there. Second down, State with the football. Tyson Lee rolling left, setting up, throwing, caught over the middle. First down, past the 40. Aubrey Bell makes the uh, makes the catch, and it's good enough for the second Bulldog first down of this possession. Tyson Lee gets a little two-man route on the left side. It's just a curl pattern with a guy out in the flat against his own defense. Bell just finds the hole, and Tyson Lee, that's what they like about him. They say he's got a great arm, but he's very accurate. Eric Berry, Demetrius Morley make the tackle for Tennessee, a 13-yard pickup. First down, Mississippi State at the Bulldog 43-yard line. Two men slotted to the right. Dixon straight ahead. Nothing there. Tennessee stops it. Nevin McKenzie in on the tackle for the Volunteers, helped out by Barry and DeMonte Bolden. Well, the front, front line did a great job of just gumming up the works. Dixon just had no place to go. Defensive line stoned everybody in front, and Dixon tried to pop it outside, but by that time, McKenzie got it from behind. He gained about a foot. It's still second down, nine and a half, maybe ten. And second down is where State's been doing the damage. Tyson Lee faking, looking. Tennessee putting some heat on. Chasing him is McCoy. He's going to throw it deep down the sideline and out of bounds. Tennessee had it well covered. The intended receiver was Jamal Smith. Well, they tried to run the bootleg and looks like McCoy had been in their in their huddle because he knew of his coming. Tyson Lee just didn't have anybody open and finally made the decision just to throw it up in the stands. Morley was back defending and Rico McCoy putting the heat on Tyson Lee. It'll be third down about 10. First in completion for Lee in the game. Christian Dupre in the game now at a running back. Lee, straight drop. Look, throw it. Caught. First down, Mississippi State. Brandon McRae down inside the Tennessee 40. And again, Pat Ryan, this coverage on Tennessee's pass defense was a little bit too much. Uh, that was uh, soft. Cushion. That's yeah, just, too soft. I mean, that's just soft. You got your, your free safety, Morley covering the slot guy, but he's giving him a 15-yard cushion to start with. And once again, Tennessee gives up a third down conversion, something they've done a lot of this year, played good defense, but are last in the league in third down conversions. And there's another one. 14 yards, 13 yards, that one good for 18 yards on third down. Tyson Lee gives to Dixon. Dixon turns the corner after he picks up three, maybe four. Tennessee keeps him in bounds. That's Christian Dupre. Well, Tennessee's doing a really good job against the run to this point, and that's what you figure Mississippi State's strength is, but they're getting hurt with the pass. Gain of three, it'll be second down and seven. The nose of that football just shy of the Tennessee 35-yard line. Now, Tyson Lee has no one with him in the backfield. Two receivers right, two left. Lee back to throw. Gets it away. Caught. First down, Mississippi State to the 25. Brandon McRae hauls it in. That's a pickup of 10 and another. Bulldog first down. Well, they split, split everybody out. Got double slants on the outside. And he saw McRae had one-on-one -on -one coverage with Eric Berry. Berry let him get inside. And McRae's a big guy, 6'4", 200 pounds. 
you let him get inside position, and he's going to catch that football. Mississippi State, who has not put together a great offensive year statistically, looking as good as any team has all year, moving the football against the Volunteers. Well, they're doing a great job of mixing it up. Dixon's back in at tailback. He gets the call inside the 25. Fumble picked up, however, by the Bulldogs. Recovering it is number 55. That's right tackle Quentin Salisbury. And they actually fumbled it forward for two more yards, making it a six-yard gain. Well, they've knocked the ball out on the original tackle. Couldn't it? Was that Ben Martin that knocked that play? Rico knocked McCoy. It? Rico McCoy yeah. knocked that ball out. But like you said, Randy, it, it, it fell forward for two or three yards. And Mississippi State just jumped all over. Second down four at the 19. Crowd beginning to beg the volunteers to stiffen up defensively. In motion is Dixon. Well, here they come. Tyson Lee back to throw. In trouble. Squirms away. Falls. Drops the football. But they say he's down at the line of scrimmage. Chris Walker putting the heat on him for Tennessee. And he's hurt. He is hurt. Lee is getting up. That's a loss of four on the play. It'll be third and long. But they're attending to Lee, who will have to come out of the game. Well, it looks like <laughs> he's, looks gonna, like he's, he's not going to have much of a choice. He's not going to have much of a choice. One thing they liked about Lee, and that's why he was in, you know, they named him the starter a couple games ago. One thing was he, he was a very accurate passer. And secondly, he's a guy that can make things happen with his feet. Right here, he gets the blitz. They're closing in on him. He's trying to find some openings. Slides through Ooh. and then gets screwed in the ground right there by Chris Walker. Looked like he spun and I don't want to speculate. He looked like he twisted something. They're working on his left leg. I think leg it was right his left now. ankle. Yeah, it looked to me like an ankle. Yeah, they, they're working on his left leg. Wesley Carroll will be the first man off the bench to replace Tyson Lee. Well, Carroll was the starter. At that, well, he started most of the season last year, and he was a starter coming into this season. Played two or three games, but uh, kind of had some interception problems in a few games. Threw six interceptions, and, and they decided to go ahead and get Tyson Lee a, a shot last week, and he did very well. And it looks like the young man's okay. He'll probably be out at least a couple of plays uh, just simply to clear his head and maybe let him inspect that ankle. Because that took it was a vicious looking twist. Well, we're sitting here at third and eight, so Mississippi State doesn't make this first down. They'll be probably most likely try try a field goal, so he'll have some time to rest. There are the numbers for Wesley Carroll this season: 51 of 95, three touchdowns, but six picks. He's faced now with a third down and about eight after the four-yard loss. Carroll was the starting quarterback in, in the game that Tennessee played last year. Right. Uh, threw for over 200 yards and a touchdown in the 23-21 uh, loss. Nine minutes, 11 seconds to go here in the opening period of play. First possession of the game, Mississippi State is driven from about their own 13-yard line all the way down to the Tennessee 23. They had it at the 19. Now it's at the 23, third and eight. And you talked about their time of possession. They were number one in the league. They've already eaten up six minutes of clock. 12th play of the drive upcoming. Dixon is the running back in the backfield. Carroll, the quarterback. Carroll rolling right, looking. Dumping it incomplete. It'll be fourth down, and the field goal unit for Mississippi State will check in. Alex Wilson was back putting the heat on the quarterback, Wesley Carroll. Well, that was good heat, and, and Carroll did the smart thing. He really didn't have it. He had Aubrey Bell open early, but he wasn't ready to throw the football. After that, everything was covered up pretty well. He did the right thing, threw it out of bounds, and gave Mississippi State a chance at a, a normal field goal. 40-yarder by Adam Carlson. The holder is Blake McAdams. Carlson gets it away, and it is no good. Wide left. Carlson misses from about 40, and it's 
Tennessee will take over first down and 10 at the volunteer 23 yard line. Well, Tennessee very fortunate there. As you said 12 play drive, six minutes or more. Do force a field goal try, and you never know what field goal tries. And that was wide left. That's a that's that's a that's hard on Mississippi State. They had a good drive, got nothing out of it. Nick Stevens at quarterback over the middle, pass caught. Out past the 40, Arian Foster makes the reception. Tennessee picks up 20 yards on their first play. Tennessee opens in a completely wide open set. I don't think Mississippi State was expecting it. Nick just looked at the safety, went away from him. Foster, everybody's running just little inside seam routes. And he picked Foster and threw a good ball to him. Now we have Foster and Cooper in the backfield with Stevens. Man in motion to the near side is Gerald Jones. Foster, nothing there. Loss of two. Mississippi State just stuffed it. Charles Burns made the tackle. And it will be second down and 11. They say he lost a yard. Yeah. State's defensive line was playing on, playing on our side of the line of scrimmage right there. Here's Stevens' numbers. Just under. 50% thrower, had a couple touchdowns, but most of all, no interceptions. Second down and 11. Brandon Warren is in a tight end for Tennessee. Three receivers left, one right, one setback. That's Foster. Stevens rolling left. Pass is caught for about a two yard pickup. Brandon Warren, and it will be third and long for the Volunteers. Third and about nine. Just a little roll left, and Brandon's out there. He's not really the guy you want to go to unless they really drop off, but nobody was open, so Brandon Warren got his sixth catch of the year. Seven minutes, ten seconds to go in the first quarter, and Tennessee is running only its fourth play of the game. Third down, nine. Stevens. Complete through the hands of Gerald Jones. That one had some spit on it. The yeah, that ball was spinning, but that was appeared from here to be a perfect throw. Gerald Jones, I think, just lost the ball. You see, you see how he went for it. He went right over both arms. I don't think he saw it. I, it maybe something in the stands blocked it out or the background, but that's a good throw. That would have been a first down, which Tennessee doesn't. Hadn't had a lot of lately. Instead, Polk was in kicking the football. Polk with punts. High, short kick, spinning. It's going to bounce out of bounds around the Mississippi State 30 31 yard line. So, not a great punt for Polk. Only well, about 25 yards. Yeah, 20, 25, 26 yard kick there. Uh, I think he was trying to kick it to the sideline, keep it away from the geese. But uh, got a little too much of that right there. Timeout, 6.40 to go first quarter. No score from Knoxville. Mississippi State used up almost seven and a half minutes in their first possession. And they missed a field goal from 39 yards. The Volunteers got the football back, moved for a first down on one play, a 20-yard pass play from Stevens to Foster, and then was three and out. It appears Wesley Carroll is going to be the be our quarterback. We haven't got a report on Tyson Lee. But Carroll jogged out onto the field. So the Volunteers, two and four overall, 0 oh and three in the Southeastern Conference, still have some problems to work out. They better get them worked out quickly before Alabama comes to town next Saturday. Of course, we'll know Monday what time that game will be and which network will be carrying the game. Well, they've got to worry about Mississippi State first. And, and to beat Mississippi State, I think we're going to have to figure out a way to run the football, Randy. It's just, that's it, just cut and dried. I mean, they're going to make exactly. us throw it some, and, and we're going to be able to throw the football some, but we're going to have to move the ball on the ground to win this football game. Mississippi State takes over at their own 30-yard line. 
6.40 to go, first quarter, no score. And Wesley Carroll is in at quarterback for the Bulldogs after their starting quarterback Tyson Lee went down with an ankle injury in that first drive. And I've been looking down on the sidelines. I don't see Tyson Lee. Uh, he's not warming up. Uh, and I don't see him down on the training table. Carroll, the quarterback. Two receivers left, one right. They give it to Dixon. Big hole. First down as he crosses the 40. Demetrius Morley makes the tackle, and that time Dixon just burst through the line, picks up about 11. Well, just another another different formation that Mississippi State showed. They ran the shotgun with one back, and everybody split out. So that takes your secondary out of the out of the run box, and they hand it on the inside trap play to Anthony Dixon for a 10, 11 yard gain. There's uh, Tyson Lee, who looks like he will be coming back in the game later. But first down, State. Tennessee may have jumped. Inside handoff to Dixon. He picks up a couple. There is no penalty marker thrown. So it'll be a gain of about two. And it will be second down. Yeah, it looked like Wes Brown kind of got a little head start on that play, but uh, no flag. There it is. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Tennessee didn't get flagged on that. Second down eight. Line of scrimmage is the Mississippi State 43. Christian Dupre is in it running back. The fullback is Hart. The quarterback is Wesley Carroll. Carroll, play action, rolling left, throwing incomplete. Almost caught, then almost intercepted by Eric Berry. Brandon McRae, the intended receiver. And it will bring up third down and eight. Well, they ran a little, ran the same run action that they ran with Dixon on the 10 yard gain, then came back on a little bootleg to the left. McCray's crossing from the right slot. He's open. Dig, uh, Carroll just threw the ball a little too high and he couldn't bring it in. Bulldogs already one out of two in third down conversions. They have five first downs to one for the Volunteers. Third down eight. Dupre, the running back, play action. Carroll going over the middle, incomplete. Into the hands of Jamal Smith. The Z wide out. It'll be fourth down and eight, and the Volunteers have held, forcing the Bulldogs to punt it away. Must be something in the middle of the field. Uh, Jamal Smith looked like he lost this football. Hit him, almost hit him right in the face. Very, very similar. And there's a little late shot that we see there. Wes Brown getting a little love tap in the back of the knees. <laughs> Blake McAdams punts it away, picked up by Jones, who almost made a dangerous catch right there, running forward. And, and he's down. And he's down. 36-yard punt by McAdams, who is the son of a former Tennessee player. Well, let's take a look and see what happened to Jones. Well, he catches the punt late, tries to make a move, and and gets his leg wrapped up underneath him. Johnny McAdams played in what, 1982 for the Volunteers. 83, 84 for the Volunteers. And you're looking at Gerald Jones being attended to. Well, this is not a good sign because Gerald Jones, one of your most productive offensive players, one of your most versatile offensive players, for an offense that's already having a hard time right. uh, gaining yards and scoring points, uh, he's not a guy that uh, Tennessee can afford to lose. Let's take another look from another angle and see. He, he might have caught his foot in the turf. You know, it's hard to say. Uh, he twisted his, it's something in his knee. I believe he twisted his knee now. Yep. You can't ever speculate about those things because sometimes you don't even see anything and, and it's a serious knee injury and sometimes it just looks absolutely horrible and like, the guy comes in the next yeah. place. So you just never know. Like with Tyson Lee, I would have thought he would be out for the whole game, but he's all right. As you well, can there see. he is. He's over there dancing. He must be playing some music over there. <laughs> all right. 
Gerald Jones limps to the sideline. He is leaving the field under his own power, so that's good. Montario Hardesty in a tailback. Hardesty's numbers, 47 rushes, 184 yards, just under 40, uh, just under four yards per carry. And he's leading the Tennessee offense with four touchdowns. First down, Tennessee from the 23-yard line. Stevens, quick drop pass deflected at the line, and it falls incomplete. Carlin Brown got a hand up for Mississippi State. Well, see, that, that's Hardesty's fault. I mean, to be real honest about it, your running back's got to come up there, and he's got he's to get the linebacker's hands down. And to get his hands down, you got to go at his knees or into his midsection. He was late coming up on the block. Carlin Brown was right in front of the throw. Stevens now two out of four in passing for 24 yards. Stevens hands it to Hardest. Well, not much there. Maybe a yard, maybe two. It's going to bring up third down and long. Dominique Douglas made the tackle along with help from number 52, Carlin Brown. Now, Dominique Douglas is a guy they really like. He, he, he started the season as an outside linebacker, and uh, their outside linebacker from last year, uh, Cheney, went out with a broken foot after the first game. He moved into the middle and uh, is their leading tackler at this point. They really like the way he's playing football. Vladimir Richard, uh, Anthony Parker, rather, limps off. So Tennessee face now with a third down and eight for Nick Stevens. And Jock McClendon, who did not start the game, is in at a guard for the Volunteers. In motion is Moore. Stevens, good protection, deep pass, incomplete. And now a penalty marker dropped. Yeah, that's going to be on Hardesty. Montario Hardesty was the intended receiver, but when the ball got there, he was not even looking in that direction. Jasper O'Quinn was defended. Now, Mississippi State, they can decline the penalty and force Tennessee to punt right here, can't they? Oh, sure they can. Yeah, they're going to do look, that. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Pass interference. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. Hardesty, everybody was running a deep, deep patterns. Hardesty's running down the right sideline. Nick really didn't have anybody that was open, but what he tried to do is throw that ball deep down the sideline and get Hardesty to stop and catch it there on the sideline before he got to the cornerback. Montero kept running, and the ball came short, and the defender came up, and Hardesty just grabbed him. The gas will stand at his 30. Britton Colquitt gets away a high, booming kick. This one much better. I guess signals for a fair catch at the 23, so a much better punt that time from Colt with 53 yards. No return, and the Bulldogs put it in play. First down and 10 at their own 23 with 4.18 to go here in the first quarter. And Tyson Lee is back in at quarterback for the Bulldogs. Wesley Carroll didn't get them moving as well as Lee did in the first possession. Four out of five, 55 yards thus far in the game. Christian Dupre in at the running back spot along with Brandon Hart, the fullback. The give is to Dupre, not much there. Tennessee has all but one play tonight stuffed anything Mississippi State has tried up the middle. Well, they're, they're playing strong against the run. Dupre tries to run the... Really, the sweep to the other side. Gerald Williams came in, stops him right at the line of scrimmage, pulls him down for a short one and a half yard gain. Second down and eight. Gain of two by Dupre. Tyson Lee in the backfield alone this time. Tennessee coming after him. Pass caught at the 31. Coeric Riley made the catch it'll be third and short upcoming third and about two for the Bulldogs after a six-yard game well this is 
This is the point that Coach John Chavis was really talking about this week. This is where Tennessee has not got off the field all season long. One for 14 in third and short situations. They've stopped one team one time out of 14 times on third and short. Third down and two from the 31. Pass is caught. First down. Out near the 38, Delman Robinson makes the catch. And it will be a first down for the Bulldogs. Demetrius Morley defending and makes the tackle for Tennessee. Here's a look. Yeah, nice bootleg action and just a really nice touch pass by Tyson Lee. Got Delman Robinson split out. Morley played off a little too far. With a, uh, gave him a chance to get his three yards and more. Dixon back in at the halfback spot for Mississippi State. Just over two and a half minutes to go first quarter. First down from the 32-yard line. 37 right. Lee. Uh -oh. Deep drop. Got a man open down the middle. Overthrown. He had his man beaten by about five yards. Brandon McCray was the intended receiver. He had the Tennessee defender beaten by five, but the pass was about five yards too hard. Well, yeah, really good play action. Sucked everybody up. McCray beat the cornerback pretty badly. Had center field all to himself. Tyson Chandler, I guarantee he's going to go to bed, and he's going to be beating himself up for the next week <laughs> over missing that pass. Second down upcoming. Dennis Rogan was the Tennessee defender who was burned badly on that play. 2.23 to go, first quarter, no score. Tyson Lee, draw play, Dixon. Not much there, he picks up a couple. Chris Walker makes the tackle, and it will be third down and about eight. Tried, yeah, tried to run the, the draw play to Dixon. Tennessee wasn't buying it, they stayed home. McCoy, Walker. Uh, Dan Williams uh, was there yeah, Dan well. Williams, Devin McKenzie. They smelled that out pretty good. Now you've got a third and eight situation. Mississippi State on the year converts 39% from the third down. Tonight they're 50, two out of four. And last week they, they were 50% against Vanderbilt, so they're getting better. Tennessee needs to get better right here. Gets it, they needed to get off the field. Tyson Lee, Tennessee coming after, and he gets away. They and finally him. dropped back at the 30. Eric Berry, Alex Wilson coming hard. It's a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. I don't know who they're going to give that to. Is that Robert Ayers? No, it's not Ayers. It's the right defensive end. Still never saw it, but. Blake McAdams will punt. And back deep to receive for Tennessee, Dennis Rogan, number 41. It was replacing the injured Gerald Jones. High kick, good punt. Rogan steps up at the 25, up the middle. And he finally goes down shy of the 35-yard line, a 44-yard punt by McAdams. So the Volunteers with good field position now. First down and 10 from the Tennessee 34. Two out of three for Stevens, 22 yards. Lennon Creer is now to the tailback for Tennessee. Foster started, hardest he played the last. Stockers in motion to the left side. They give it to Creer, nothing there. Back up the middle, good job out to the 40. Creer had nothing. On the left side, but cut it back to the middle, picks up five yards. Jimmy Holmes and Derek Pagues make the tackle for State. You're right, he had nothing play side, but did a good job of uh, keeping his vision upfield. Saw a little crack backside and took it straight upfield for a five yard gain. Got time for one more play this quarter. 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. Stevens, Creer, straight ahead. Crosses the 40 to about the 42. It's a gain of between two and three. Dominic Dub uh, Douglas head on the tackle, and that will be the end of the first quarter. We've completed one period of play here at Eland Stadium in Knoxville. Tennessee and Mississippi State 
no score. Well, we're set to go with the second period of play here at Neyland Stadium. Tennessee and Mississippi State, no score. Volunteers have the football, third down. And about two. Maybe three, we'll see. Lynn and Creer still in the backfield. Lynn and Creer, who is one of the most talented running backs, but just didn't get a lot of touches. All right, here we go. Lone setback is Creer. Man in motion, Stocker. They give it to Creer. Left side, he gets the first down, crosses the 45, and it will be a Tennessee first down. They still didn't get him down. Derek Pagess makes the tackle, and it's a first down for the Volunteers. Tennessee in the first quarter, only eight yards rushing, 22 yards passing. Only one first down, but look at the time of possession of the offensive plays. 22 to 7 for Mississippi State. 10 minutes to 457, twice as much. But no points. And that's the important thing. Uh, those minutes they tend to wear on you later in the game. At this point, Tennessee's two to one in time of possession, but they're still holding their own. All right, Tennessee calls time with 1434 to go here in the first half. Tennessee's been putting a lot of heat on the Mississippi State quarterbacks, Pat. Yeah, here's Rico McCoy. He read the bootleg, came out. Ooh, Big Dan Williams puts the hit on. And Wes Brown, and Chris Walker, and here comes Elix Brown. Not a lot of room for quarterbacks tonight. Tyson Lee's going to have to get rid of the ball on time. Tennessee, as we said, just picked up their second first down of the ball game. You know, on the other side, I don't believe Nick Stevens has been touched or really rushed hard yet. Uh, a lot of that comes with getting the ball out on time, obviously, but the last play they ran, uh, the deep play down the down the sideline, the hardest that he had all night. He just didn't have anybody, couldn't find anybody to throw to. So the Volunteers using their first time out. There's Gerald Jones who went down in the first quarter with an ankle. He is going to be evaluated. So will lineman Anthony Parker. Here's that injury again to Jones. I still think it was he caught that. Caught that toe. Shoe in the yeah. toe. Caught that toe. Looks like he will come back in the game because they're taping it up and putting the supporter on it. 14-34, that's the time remaining in the first half. Tennessee and Mississippi State, no score. Alabama beat Ole Miss today 24 to 20. They led it 21 to, or actually 24 to three at one time, but Ole Miss made a game out of it. Yeah, that looked like it was gonna be a blowout. And uh, John Parker Wilson was hitting those receivers just wide open whenever he wanted, and then all of a sudden, Ole Miss just turned it around. First down, Tennessee with a football. Two receivers right, Denarius Moore's wide left. Stevens, quick drop, pass caught up to 50 by Rogers. Austin Rogers, not much there. Maybe gain three, but they pushed him back. Here's another look. Yeah, it's quick three-step drop, just stop pattern Austin Rogers. Jasper Quinn does a good job out there closing on the football. His guy catches the ball, but he gets to him quick, holds him to a short two or three-yard gain. Second down and seven after a three-yard pickup on the pass play from Stevens to Rogers. Stevens. Makes the pitch, rolls right, pass caught. First down, Tennessee. Kevin Cooper, the fullback, rolling out of the backfield, picks up eight, and it's a Tennessee first down. The ball's third of the game. Blue leg action. Cooper's lined up in an H back position, just shoots out in the flat. Really kind of took Mississippi State by surprise. I, I don't think 
they, they felt like Tennessee was planning on throwing the ball to Cooper. Did a good job to get out there. He's got good hands for a big man. Thirteen thirty-six. That's the time remaining in the first half. Tennessee has picked up two first downs in this drive. First down at the state forty-one. Stevens blitz. Stevens breaks away. Got a block. Stevens first down. Stevens inside the twenty-five. First down. Tennessee. Nick Stevens picks up a big chunk of yardage, 18 yards, before Jimmy Holmes brings him down. And Nick Dodge back, he gets, he gets some pressure from the right side, does a good job of stepping up, takes it up the field, and just gets what he can out of it. Lennon Creer made a good block. There it is. That, that, that sprung him for about six or seven more. The one thing that we didn't notice, or I did notice on that play, they had uh, a Brandon Warren lined up as a slot receiver and he was open in the middle of the field Nick Stevens would have time to throw the football to him. Into the tailback straight ahead a couple of tough yards. That's Foster Arian Foster back in the game. Dominic Douglas makes the tackle after a pickup of about two by Foster. Pretty good push right there. Nice crack. Foster got two or three there. You might wonder why Foster's back in the game when Creer uh, was having some pretty good success running the football. Tennessee has now outrushed the Bulldogs 34-15. For 17 of that 34 came from Nick Stevens, who's in trouble. It's a while. Because it's Stevens still on his feet down inside the 20. Made some positive yardage again after being nearly sacked a gain of one well Brandon Cooper's there Nick does a good job of, of eluding him and trying to get outside just didn't have the speed to outrun that that last guy because if he got outside of him there was a lot of real estate out there on the left side of, uh, of that field Tennessee faced with a third down and seven ninth play of this drive which has been a pretty good looking one thanks to Nick Stevens Big third down play for the Volunteers. Stevens didn't even move his feet, but bounced the football up to Foster. And it will be fourth down. Not much to say about that other than that was just, just a bad pass. Uh, like you said, he never moved his feet. And since he just threw a ground ball out there to the outside. You're not going to get any first downs like that. I don't think you would have the first down even if you would have thrown him a good pass. Kind of stared him down, but now we've got a good field goal uh, try from, what is it, 36 Dan, yards? Yeah, about 36. Daniel Lincoln. Got it away, and Lincoln nailed it. Tennessee takes the lead, 3-0, with 11-17 to go in the first half. Tennessee, an 11-play drive that stopped. And then the field goal by Lincoln was perfect from 36 yards away. So the Volunteers have scored first. They lead it three to nothing with 11-17 to go in the first half here in Knoxville. Well, one of the better drives Tennessee's had in a while. Uh, 11 plays. They've been averaging, if you can believe this, at this point, they've been averaging five plays a drive. Yeah. And, and you know, that, you're not going to score more many points uh, five plays and out. You're just not going to do it. So, uh, good drive for Tennessee to get on the board first. Volunteers look at Mississippi State. Chad Cunningham will kick off for the Volunteers. Cunningham high kick. It's going to be short, taken at the eight by Pagas. Up the middle, Tennessee stops him at just shy of the 30 yard line. And it'll be a 22-yard return by Pagasso. Puts Mississippi State in business. First down and 10 at the Bulldog 31. Actually, the 30. Tyson Lee back in at quarterback. There is numbers so far in the game. Six out of eight, 68 yards. Went down with, a, with an injury late in the first quarter. Wesley Carroll played a couple of series, and now 
Tyson Lee's back. Tennessee had him stuffed. Anthony Dixon takes the pitch. DeMonte Bolden and big Dan Williams were there. Well, you know, you know if your interior linemen are making the play on an outside pitch, they're active. That means they're getting off blocks and getting down the line of scrimmage. Right there, Dixon tries to get outside. Tennessee's just too fast for that. I, I think you're going to see Mississippi State try and gash him more and get to the outside play. Loss of two, second down and 12. Little swing pass caught by Dixon. Tennessee's got him at the line. No gain. Tremendous defensive coverage by Eric Berry. Yeah, Barry was out there. He was in great coverage out there to make the play. You know, Barry's a pretty big hitter, but he takes a heck of a shot from Dixon. Dixon outweighs him by about 45, 50 pounds and uh, hits him head on and, and drops him, but Barry still brings him down for, for a loss on the play. Alex Wilson was putting the heat on Tyson Lee as well. So it's third down and 11. Mississippi State so far tonight, two out of five in third down conversions. Out of the shotgun lead. Tennessee's bringing some heat. He gets away, rolls left. Tennessee's still chasing him. Tennessee's going after him. He gets the pass away, caught at the 40. And it will be a first down. Brandon Henderson. It's a gain of between 11 and 12, which is what? Mississippi State had a half for the first down. There's a look. Well, good pass protection. Not much of a rush. Tyson Lee didn't like it on the left side. Kind of waddles over to the right side. Had two guys open on that side. And it finally got the ball. And Brandon Henderson kind of limped off as well. Tight end, 6'1", 250. First down, Mississippi State out to the 41 as they convert on a third down and long. Again, Tennessee's defense gives up another first down on a third and long. That's something that has really bugged Tennessee. And Mississippi State calls time with 9.14 to go in the first half, and the Volunteers leading it 3-0. Well, you just can't let a guy run around that long. I mean, it, it's very, very hard. In fact, it's almost impossible to hold coverage for five, six, seven seconds. And, and when a quarterback can extend the play like that and go from one side to the other, uh, especially in zones, uh, somebody's going to find an open area. You just hope that your quarterback can find it. You know, Tyson Lee's a heck of a story. Yep. This is a guy that uh, wasn't recruited out of high school and went to junior college and had a good, good junior college career, but then walked on at Mississippi State. Walked on last spring, spring practice and earned, earned a scholarship by the time spring practice was over. Dixon is the tailback. Hart is the fullback. They give it to Dixon. Tennessee watches as Dixon surges forward for a big pickup between eight and nine yards. Wes Brown makes the tackle. It'll be second down and short upcoming for Mississippi State. Well, Tennessee did a good job of, of plugging up the point of attack on the left side. But Dixon, good vision that he has, looked back to the right underneath and found a little gap. It got up for eight yards. Second down and two upcoming for the Bulldogs. Again, they're eating up a lot of the clock. Eight and a half minutes to go. Dixon left. First down. Dixon into Tennessee territory down inside the Volunteer 45. Another eight yard pickup by Dixon and it's another Mississippi State first down. Five pounds is not supposed to cut it be able to cut it back like that. But Dixon's kind of a freak. He made a nice run out of that one. Bulldogs with twice as many first downs as the volunteers have thus far. Give it to Dixon again. Stiff arms around the corner. Not a lot but he got it himself as he gets inside the 40. Alex Wilson pushes him down and out. After a five yard pickup, it'll be second down and five. Dixon's gonna get a breather. That'll mean Christian Dupre will come in. He yeah, tried to get the point of attack, but Alex Wilson was right there. He had to bust it outside. And uh, we didn't have a strong safety coming up and make the play on the outside till it was late. And he beat the pursuit to the outside. You know, we haven't had a lot of penalties in this game. 
Which is a good thing. Now you know, now that you said that, we will. Yeah. It always works like that. Oh, my. Over the middle. Pass is incomplete. Penalty marker down. Yep, you're right. I jinxed us. Brandon McRae, the intended receiver, and they're saying that Tennessee got a hand on him. Nevin McKenzie, D'Angelo Willingham defending for the Volunteers, and Willingham is going to be hit with a penalty. Well, you know what? Tennessee will take that because Tyson Lee missed a wide. Number 24. The penalty will place the ball at the spot of the foul and includes an automatic first down. Because Tyson Lee had a wide open Aubrey Bell running straight down the middle of the field for an easy touchdown. Didn't see him. Came back out to the sideline, and here you see he really didn't have to do that because I don't believe he could have caught no. the ball in bounds. First down, Mississippi State to the Tennessee 30. This drive started the Bulldog 30. Now another whistle. I don't know what there is to talk about. Pretty cut and dried. Now we're ready to go. 7.38 to go. First half, Tennessee leading at 3 0. That was the first penalty of the game. And it came about, what, 10 seconds after I said, hey, we haven't had a penalty. There you go. Inside, Dupre <laughs> takes it short of the 25. Savion Frazier makes the tackle for Tennessee coming in at the linebacker. There's Savion number 43. Mississippi State is slowly figuring out a way to run the football. You know, three yards, four yards, eight yards. Savon Frazier, 6'2, 210, a sophomore. Getting in at linebacker. Yeah, then John Chavis thinks he's going to be one of the next really good ones here. Second down, six from the 26. Lee throwing a fade incomplete. Barry was defending Jamal Smith, the intended receiver. Barry and Morley, I would imagine. Yeah, Tyson, Tyson threw this ball a little bit on the line, needed to put a little more air under it, give Jamal a chance to, to go get that football because he had a step out there, and uh, a well thrown football could have been six points. Brent Vinson and Barry were defending for Tennessee. Third down. Bulldogs 50%, three out of six. Tennessee only one out of four. Tyson Lee with a football 647 to go first half ninth play of this drive for the Bulldogs Lee rolling right Tennessee's coming after him over the middle caught and then dropped Eric Berry put a hit on the intended receiver that's Aubrey Bell and it will be fourth down Mississippi State yeah Barry did a good job of reading this route Lee was a little late with the ball but he throws it to the open hook man but Barry read the play, read the progression, came in and made the hit just as the football got there. Tell you what, Eric Barry is a football player. Adam Carlson, who's already missed one from 39 yards, is going to attempt one now from 43. He's got the distance, and it is good, and we're tied at 3-3 with 6.34 to go in the first half. So the Volunteers, thanks to a big pass interference call, the only penalty of the game thus far, that set them up first down at the 30, and they wind up with a 43-yard field goal to tie the game at 3-3. Well, penalties have really hurt Tennessee's defense. Last week, they had a drive extended by two personal foul penalties. One obviously was uh, a little suspect call. One was a good call, but regard wave it off, but they both just said, watch, watch right here. Now, you can't it's really hard tell. To there. It's hard to yeah. see. I think that the, the view we had the first time, which is this one, this one, you can get a better look at it. I think that ball kind of bounced. Yeah. Watch. Now, we might be able to tell more right here. Might have been deflected. I don't know. He got his hands under that ball. Yeah, his it may not be enough to overturn that. His hands are under it. You know, Lucas Taylor 
uh, has been playing and battling a, a pretty bad shoulder. Uh, didn't right. play but a couple plays last week and and really is not 100 percent tonight. Well they're taking their time now there is a decision made so. After a due ruling on the field is confirmed. Ball is caught. First down. Well shows you how much I know. Well no but you said you saw it yeah. a couple times you yep. you came to the same conclusion. We just didn't have a really good you know look at it. The you, first look looked like it was incomplete. Sure it, it looked like it bounced. Right. So it's a first down for the volunteers at the 39 Stevens. They give it to Foster who crosses the 40 still on his feet to the 45 Carlin Brown makes the tackle but a good gain of about five maybe six by Foster. Yeah that's one of the stronger runs Aaron's made in a while uh, got hit pretty close to the point of attack and and broke a nice tackle and then got into the pile and just kept pushing. Second down and five on the just shy of the 45 yard line. Steven straight ahead Foster again picks up a couple more. He's going to be shy of the first down but not by much. Carlin Brown makes the tackle after a four yard pickup so we'll have to see where they mark the football. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be about no oh, half a yard. Good body lean by Arian there. Running with some authority. Third down and about a foot. Cooper. Foster the running back. They give it to Foster. He gets the first down. He picked up about a yard, maybe two. Mississippi State said they stopped him. I yeah. don't think so. Foster yeah. gets it. Yeah, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, <laughs> made that easily. I say easily. Nothing's easy about short yardage runs, but. He, he picked that up by you know two or three feet. Foster five carries 12 yards. He's only averaging 2.4. First down Tennessee right at midfield. He's carried three times for 12 yards on this drive. Stevens throw incomplete. There you go. And there's a penalty marker. It'll be a. Pass interference on Mississippi State. I saw a hand go in there, but I didn't want to say anything because the last time I did, Tennessee got burned. Rodgers was the intended receiver. Jasper O'Quinn was defending, but he got a hand on him before the ball got there. Mississippi State brought the house, and Tennessee did a really good job. Pass interference on the defense, number 23. The penalty will be enforced from the spot of the foul. It includes an automatic first down. Yeah, yep. you that can left see, hand yeah. had, him, had him around the waist. Yeah, Jasper has him from around the back of the waist, but they brought the house man man coverage. Uh, Tennessee did a really good job of blitz coverage there and and Nick did a good job of standing in there and finding the guy to throw to made a nice throw under duress. And we got the first down. Tennessee yeah. sweeping left Foster cuts back inside picks up at least eight maybe nine. Inside the 30 yard line. Zach Smith makes the tackle. And Foster has been getting the workload this drive. Well, getting a little push, finding some gaps up there, finding some holes. This is more of the offense or the running game that uh, Tennessee fans have been looking for. Second down, two. Foster bounces to the outside. Foster at the 20. Foster inside the 10 yard line and out of bounds. It'll be first down, Tennessee. Zach Smith shoved him out of bounds, but Foster made a lot of that happen himself as he bounced to the outside, picks up 19 yards. He does a good job of stepping out of a tackle at the point of attack. Once he did that, it was open to the outside. Zach Smith did a good job of bringing him down on the side. That could have easily been six points. 
First down, goal to go. Tennessee has moved at 65 yards to the Mississippi State nine. We've got Kevin Cooper as a wideout coming back in motion. They'll give it to the tailback. Foster again picks up two right up the middle. 2.41, clock moving in the first half in a 3-3 game. Carter McCraney and Jesse Bowen make the tackle for Mississippi State. It'll be second down and goal at the seventh. Cooper and Foster, the setbacks. Tennessee with a couple of tight ends in the game. Stevens rolling right, in trouble, keeps it. He's going to be dropped back at the 12-yard line, the 11. And it will be third down and goal from the 11, a loss of four. Tim Bailey putting the heat on Stevens and dropping it. Well, it, Dick does a good job eluding the first guy. That's Cortez McCraney, big old guy. but. Once you elude that first guy and you feel that other pressure, you need to throw that thing out of the end zone. Don't take that loss. Don't take that hit. 140. Time remaining. And Tennessee's going to have to call a timeout. They're having a hard time getting the play in. Well, they're not calling it yet. By the front four, front five. I mean, there's nobody even close. Nick doesn't have to run out there. I think he just ran out there because. He knew that four seconds has gone off and somebody surely was coming, but nobody was. He could have stayed in the pocket, looked around, but as you said, Randy, nobody was open anyway. He threw it out of the end zone, and now Daniel Lincoln's got another opportunity. Daniel Lincoln will attempt a field goal from 28 yards. Slight angle to the right. He gets it away. He's got the foot in it, and it is good. Tennessee with a 6-3 to three lead with a minute and nine seconds to go in the first half. It's just a little chip shot. He just, just kind of just punches this through. He didn't even have to go there and loosen up to kick that one. It's been a battle of field goals. Tennessee has two of them by Daniel Lincoln. And Mississippi State has only one by Adam Carlson. Well, the difference in the game, Randy, is a missed field goal. You know, they had two, we had two, they just happened to miss one. The Volunteers with a minute and nine seconds to go in the first half have regained the lead, six to three. And there's Nick Stevens, who on uh, the drive before picked up a couple of huge runs for the Volunteers, one for 17, one for eight. And no, he doesn't dye his hair orange. He's, he's got, <laughs> he, you know, I know he likes Tennessee, but he's a natural redhead. Lincoln. 28 yard field goal puts Tennessee up six to three. Derek Pagas is back deep to receive for State. Cunningham kicks high, short kick picked up by Pagas at the 13. Still on his feet. Tennessee's got him shy of the 30, a 15 yard return with about a minute to go. And Lamarcus Thompson makes the tackle for the Volunteers. Joe McNishar, stat guy, says the score is 6-3 in the top of the fifth. <laughs> it's a base baseball game's on tonight, isn't it? Yeah, I thought that's what he was telling me. He, uh, it's that Boston, Boston Red Sox. Bruce Pearl's in the booth. Yep. It's, he likes the Red Sox. <laughs> Tyson Lee out of the shotgun. Tennessee's coming hard. They tried to set up a little screen to Dixon. It didn't work. Pass over his head. Wes Brown was defending, and it will be second down. Yeah, this is poorly set up, and, and Tennessee read it pretty good, but uh, you can't. Th you just can't throw a screen pass on the line like that with people coming at you. Dixon never even saw that football. Fifty-four seconds. Clock is stopped, second down and 10. Mississippi State at the Bulldog 29. Dixon, the lone setback behind quarterback Tyson Lee. Lee, draw play. Nothing there. Tennessee stopped it. Robert Ayers makes the tackle as he wraps up Dixon. It'll be third down 
And 10 upcoming. Yeah, this is a play. You, you run the draw, see if you can get something out of it, get you a big gain, and then, then you go down and you try and uh, you use some, uh, uh, save some time and, and maybe score some points on a field goal. Now, since you don't gain anything on that play, you're pretty much content to run out to half. Third down upcoming for Mississippi State. Clock moving, 19 seconds to go. You know, Tennessee might make them call a timeout and make them punt the football if they don't make it on this on this down. And now they call time with seven seconds to go. And that I don't understand. Coming up at halftime of tonight's game, we're going to take a look at the pride of the Southland Marching Band. We'll have the excerpts from the DVD Perfection 10 year anniversary of the national championship for Tennessee. And then Coach Bruce Pearl will join us. He put his team through a hefty workout today. And one of his players is still in the arena lying on the floor when we got here today. So, <laughs> won't be the last. <laughs> Tennessee will be opening its regular season November 15th here at home. That's an off football weekend against UT Chattanooga. Third down and nine. Ball is on the 30. With seven ticks left in the first half. That timeout still, uh, I, don't, I just don't understand that timeout. Uh, even if your clock's running down, I, I, I didn't see the, uh, the shot clock. And I don't know if it was running down or not, but even if it does, it doesn't make any difference. What's five yards at this point when you're not trying to do anything anyway? Tyson Lee to the line, third down and nine. Lee hands it straight ahead. Dixon still on his feet. He's going to run the clock out. And that'll be the end of the first half. They keep him in. It'll be short. Unless it's a defensive flag. Uh, the flag has dropped. Willingham, I think, was knocking Dixon out of bounds. We'll have to see what they call. I think they might have got Dixon for a face mask. Uh, it was it. against the offense. And that's exactly what it was. He, uh, yeah, he got the face mask, and he had it earlier on another play and they did not call that. Yeah, he's looking at anybody. Personal that? foul, face mask on the offense, number 24. The penalties declined into the first half. So the first half comes to a close with Tennessee kicking a field goal from 26 yards away by Daniel Lincoln and the Volunteers lead it 6-3 to three at halftime over Mississippi State. Well, we thought we might see Gerald Jones again after getting a shot of him over there on the trainer's table, putting that ankle wrap or ankle brace on, but apparently it was too severe to play the second half. Low kick taken by Rogan at the 10. Rogan 20. Rogan 30. Rogan still on his feet. Rogan with a 45, just shy of midfield. A great return by Dennis Rogan who was just a step or two away, Pat Ryan, from breaking that one all the way. Well, he did. Uh, you know, Dennis Rogan averages about 25 yards of kick return uh, in the top 40 or 50 in the country, breaks a tackle there, then hits the gap, breaks another tackle, and then drags three or four Mississippi State guys for the last five or six yards. Sets Tennessee up in great field position on their first drive of the second half. First down, Tennessee, great field position. It's at the Volunteer 47. Ontario Hardesty is the tailback. Stevens three-step drop pass incomplete. Intended for the tight end Luke Stocker who could not hold it. Tennessee's first half possessions. They punted their first two times, got two field goals, the last two possessions. But the last two possessions, Pat, pretty good. Nine plays, 47 yards, the other one 63 yards. Yeah, they extended drives that time and, and, and got points out of them. Opened up in an empty backfield and 
and had a little pass down inside. Nick Stevens just under through, through behind Stalker, and that's second and ten. Stevens gives it to Hardiston. Hardiston trying to turn the corner. Does not turn it far, but he does pick up about three. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Marcus Washington knocks him out of bounds. Good defense by Mississippi State that has just strung this thing and strung it and strung it. Got him to the sideline, and Washington is there waiting on him. Tennessee third down and seven. Those are that football right on the midfield strike. The volunteers lead this game six to three. Cooper in the motion. Now he split out wide right. Stevens. Pressure. Pass. Green pass. Caught by Hardesty. Hardesty still on his feet. First down to the 40. Montario Hardesty picks it up for the Volunteers. Picks up about 10. Pagues and Carlin Brown make the tackle after a 10-yard game. Good run by Hardesty. They read it pretty well, had a guy in position to make the tackle. Hardesty just jumped out of the tackle and then took it up hard upfield past the sticks. Tennessee at the 38. First down. We're a minute into the third quarter. Hardesty sweeping right. Hardesty, good yardage. Hardesty to the 31. Keith Fitzhugh makes the tackle after a seven yard pickup by Ontario Hardesty. Just a little pitch right. Got the fullback and the tight end out in front of him, and he cuts up inside. Sets Tennessee up second and three. Arian Foster back in the game at tailback for Tennessee. They give it to Foster. Foster cuts outside. Got to the 30. Not much. K.J. Wright makes the tackle, and he picks up a yard. It'll be third and short. Third and about two for the Volunteers. Well, this is a play that's supposed to go over tackle, but there wasn't anything there. He passed it outside. Mississippi State was waiting on him. Third down and two at the 30-yard line. Big play right here. Tennessee three out of seven so far in third down conversions. They give it straight ahead. And didn't get it. he didn't get it. Foster might have gotten a yard, but that's it. It'll be fourth and one. Keith Fitzhugh makes the tackle from his strong safety position. And the volunteers are bringing in linemen. They're acting like they're going for it. I see Lucas Taylor in the game. I see Brandon Warren come in the ball game. Well, the crowd likes the daring right here because Tennessee could have tried a long field goal of about 47 yards, or they can try to keep the drive alive by gaining about two. Hardesty, the tailback. Stevens, the quarterback. Stevens, pass caught inside the 25. First down, Lucas Taylor. A nine-yard pickup from Nick Stevens. And that's a good throw by Nick Stevens. Two-man route on the right side. A little slant and a flat pattern by the tight end. Throws the ball down and in where only Lucas Taylor can get to it because there was pretty good coverage by O'Quinn on the play. It's at the 21. First down, Tennessee. Two catches tonight for Taylor. High formation, Stevens. Gives it to Hardesty. Hardesty stopped. He could have been stopped for about a yard loss. Nevertheless, he picks up a couple of yards down near the 20. K.J. Wright and Cortez McCraney make the tackle for Mississippi State. Yeah, big number 90. Had him in the backfield. Ran out of that tackle. Did a good job of getting back to the line of scrimmage. Mississippi State, when they see that I formation, they're thinking run there. They start with the defensive backs deep, but the, by the time the ball is snapped, they've got about eight guys in that box. Ninth play of the drive, second down nine from the 20. Stevens, pass deflected at the line of scrimmage. 
Cortez McCranny gets his hand up and swats it away. It will be third down and nine. You know, that's just that, that's just too good a pass protection. Or a lazy defensive tackle that never gets off the line of scrimmage. He turns out being in a perfect spot to knock down the inside uh, uh, pass on the, to the wide receiver. Third down nine. Tennessee at the 20 and a half yard line. Stevens. Pass is caught. Rodgers to the two. Touchdown, Big Orange. Austin Rodgers, 20 yards from Nick Stevens, and the Volunteers extend their lead to 12 to three. Well, Mississippi State brought the blitz again, and Tennessee did a good job of picking everybody up. Played soft coverage on the outside, man-to-man -man coverage with Marcus Washington on Austin Rodgers. Rodgers catches the ball, he overruns him, and Austin does a great job extending that ball into the end zone. Uh, they're going to review, but what they're going to review is what did he make it into the end zone before a knee hit. Right because there was no question he caught the ball. So we'll have to see. We'll take a look here as well. You know, soft coverage on the outside. He just beats it. Uh, they'll bring that back to the one because yeah, that knee went down. Yeah, I believe you're right. Right there. Yeah, they'll probably set that up anywhere from the one yard line on in. Good, good blitz pickup by, by Tennessee's front. Giving Nick Stevens plenty, plenty of space between himself and the pocket to see the receiver and to step into his throw. You know, they may say he was lunging. I don't know if that, you know, he was reaching. I, I, you know, I quit guessing. I did. Uh, I, on, I on need to quit guessing anymore. myself. I used to think they were all cut and dried. You look at them and you say, oh, yeah. And uh -huh. then sure enough, they come back with a different interpretation. So. Well, we're going to find out an answer right here. It's either a touchdown or first down on the half yard line. After review, video evidence shows that the runner was down at the one half yard line. It'll be Tennessee's ball, first and goal, the half. Well, Rodgers does not get credit for the touchdown, but he does get credit for a huge catch on a third down play and nine. Yeah, but that hurts, I'm telling you. I guarantee you, Nick Stevens. And Austin Rodgers did not like that decision. First down, goal to go. Tennessee inside the one-yard line. Hardesty is in there. First and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive upcoming. They give it to Hardesty. Penalty, Penalty marker down. And we'll have to wait till they unstack and decide what to do here. Well, they've got him marked short. Offside on the defense. The penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal. Repeat first down. Obviously, he didn't score. They would have nullified that touchdown. They were lined up. Yeah, they lined up the defensive tackle on our right side. Had his head across the, the neutral zone or across the football. Uh, looked to me like he was in there, but now we'll do it again. First and goal from the one foot line. Hardesty still the tailback. They give it to him. Touchdown, Big Orange. Hardesty with a one foot plunge, and now the Volunteers lead it 12 to 3. Get the second half kickoff. You want to go down and get points. Take control of the football game. Cunningham kicks it short. Taken, kicked out of bounds. About the 20. 
so Mississippi State will take the football at the 40 yard line 40. The kicking team the ball will be placed 30 yards beyond where it was free kicked first and 10. Hardesty one yard run capped a 53 yard drive 12 plays used up exactly five minutes of the game. I want to say a special hello to Haywood Harris. We forgot to do it at halftime because we had so much going on, but Haywood's not feeling well. This is the first game he's missed in, what, 48 years? Unbelievable. Well, that's a good hit by Eric Berry at the point of attack. Dixon took the ball at the left side. Looked like he had a hole there. And Eric Berry comes up from a strong safety position and just rocks him. Gain of two, it'll be second down at eight. Haywood, we want you to get better, my friend, in time for Alabama next week. They'll be here next Saturday. Need all the help we can get. Second down eight. Lee back to pass. Tennessee Bam. got him back at the 35. A loss of five. Nevin McKenzie, Wes Brown. Corralling a loss of seven. It'll be third and very long. He got the play action pass. This West Brand caused this, beat his guy, forced Tyson Lee up in the pocket, right into McKenzie, who was slipping back to the inside. Third down and 14 at the 36. Tennessee almost had him. Lee keeps it. Still on his feet. Drops shy of the first down by number 94, Wes Brown. He got a bunch of yardage. Picked up 11, but it will be fourth down and about four. Yeah, he broke out of the pack. He had Aubrey Bell coming back to him way past the first down marker. Didn't see it. Pulled it down. Wes Brown shows a great motor. He's rushing the passer and chases him all the way down the field to make the tackle. Blake McAdams will punt. Signaling for a fair catch at the 11-yard line is Dennis Rogan, and Tennessee puts it in play. First down and 10 after a 43-yard punt by Blake McAdams. And no return for Rogan. There's Nick Stevens. His team up 13 to three. He would love to eat up the rather the rest of this 7:52 on the clock and get another touchdown. He would definitely like to eat up, have another nine, 10, 12 play drive like they've had in their last three. They probably don't know how to act being on the field that long. I mean, they've averaged 50, 50 plays a game the last three games. They've had almost that many in their last three drives. First half possessions for Mississippi State. They missed a field goal, punted twice, kicked a field goal, and ended the half after running three plays, gaining a yard. Boy, Southern Cal took Washington State to the woodshed today, 69 to nothing. That must be a really bad football team. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to get beat 69 to nothing, 68, 69 to nothing. Miami of Florida knocked off Duke today, 49 to 21. You know, and Duke was leading. Was it 21? I thought Duke was Duke was leading that game at halftime, and we were up in the third quarter. Miami must have exploded. UAB knocked off Marshall in a close one today in Conference USA play, 23-21. Penn State just clobbered Michigan, 46. 17. You know, you don't hear a lot about Penn State. It appears they're for real. Look at Arkansas. 17 to nothing over Kentucky in the third quarter. That game is in Lexington, and LSU and South Carolina tied 3-3. That game of the second period in Columbia.
Tennessee gets the ball first down at 10 at the volunteer 12 yard line. Tennessee leading at 13 to 3. There are the numbers for Nick Stevens. 8 out of 15, 89 yards. No touchdowns, but no interceptions. Lennon Creer in a tailback. They give it to Creer. Cuts back to the middle, spins away, picks up a couple, but boy, they were tough. He got it himself. There was no hole to run through. He just spun back and picked up two. Now, that was a good run by Lennon Creer. That could have easily been a three yard loss. Uh, they had him in the backfield. He spins back in and gets all this himself. Second down, they say nine. Line of scrimmage is just past the 13, almost the 14 yard line. Puts it back to Career again. Career crosses the 15 out to the 22. Gain of about three. Actually crosses the 15, gets to the 17. Marcus Washington, KJ Wright make the tackle. Just too many bodies there. Yeah. State did a good job of just clogging playing, that up. Yeah, clogging it up, just playing down the line of scrimmage. There's just no place to go. Third down and about five for the Volunteers. Tennessee on third down conversions in the game, four of nine. Blitz coming. Stevens. Screen, but a good job of picking it up. Lennon Creer takes the pass, picks up a yard. Tim Bailey knocks him down from behind, and it'll be fourth down and four, and the Volunteers will have to punt the football. The state was bringing the house. They brought everybody in. Tennessee was obviously expecting it. They let him go. Bailey does a really good job here coming off his block on the screen because if he doesn't make that play, Creer's going to take that for the first down. Dustin, our brother, Britton Colquitt will stand inside his five. Derek Pagess will stand at his 40 to receive it for Mississippi State. Oh, boom kick by Colquitt. Backs for guess up to the 30. One Tennessee player missed him. Another missed him. A 10 yard return after a 52 yard punt by Britton Colquitt. Savant Frazier makes the tackle for the Volunteers. Tennessee will go back on defense, but we'll have a timeout on the field, and it'll be first down and 10, Mississippi State at the 40-yard line. Draw play. Dupre picks up about five. That's it. And Tennessee has now sacked the quarterback three times in the game. West Brown makes that tackle. It will be third and about 15 or so. Third down and 14, they say, after a five-yard pickup. Well, what do you do when you get in a bad pass rush? You know, they're all over you. Screens and draws. They ran the draw that time. Wes Brown did a good job of sliding down the line of screens and recognizing it and hitting the running back in the, uh, just as he got back to the line of scrimmage. Third and forever. Not many plays in your playbook for this. Pass caught. Wide open receiver. Tennessee is going to stop him short of the first down. There is a flag back at uh, in the backfield. It will go against Mississippi State. They're going to bring it back. Pass was complete to Anthony Dixon. But there was not an orange shirt within 30 yards of him. Now, Tennessee really brought the heat. I believe that was Wes Brown coming off the edge that was held. You got a step on the tackle. I believe that was Salisbury. Holding on the offense, number 55, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Quentin Repeat Salisbury. Yeah, he, came, he, got, he got just underneath his pads, got yep, great right leverage, there, right and there. Salisbury had no choice but to, to hog time and take him down the ground. That's only the third penalty tonight. Second one on Mississippi State. We've had two pass interference calls, one on each team, and that holding penalty. 
which for Tennessee is good news. Third down in the river. Christian Dupre, the setback along with the fullback, Brandon Hart. Tyson Lee is the quarterback. Out of the shotgun. Tennessee's coming hard. One man missed him. He's rolling left, throwing deep. It's going to be incomplete. That one would have been complete to Jamal Smith had Dennis Rogan not laid the wood to him. And I'd like to see that again. I'm not so sure Rogan didn't get there early. We'll see it here. Maybe I'm a blind man. Does a good job of looting the rush. Takes it up the left sideline. Uh, that's pretty much simultaneous. That's that's good timing good by Dennis good Rogan. Play. I from think, that, I think, from that angle, I think. it looked like he might have been a little early. But no flag, so it's fourth down and forever. Mississippi State will punt it. A low kick bounces, and Tennessee's going to back away and let it roll inside the 40. The punt by Blake McAdams goes 36 yards with a bounce. But Tennessee's got good field position now. First down and 10 at the volunteer 38 yard line with three minutes, two seconds to go here in the third quarter. Nick Stevens back in at quarterback. Sylvester Kroom is unhappy with something. He probably wanted that pass interference call. Or non pass interference call. Foster's back in at tailback for Tennessee. First down from the 38. Stevens straight drop. Going for the home run ball. Got a man down there. Caught inside the 20 by Darian. Darius Moore. He had to come back for it, but he came back and caught it. And the Volunteers are in business. 46 yards. Stevens to Moore. You know, he, he doesn't catch balls unless they're 40 or 50 yards down the field. Nick underthrows this ball, and it's really good coverage on the outside by Jasper Quinn. He cuts Moore off, but Moore has uh, smart enough to stop when he gets cut off, comes back and makes the catch easily. Foster, handoff from Stevens, nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Cortez McCraney makes the tackle. Here's a ground level look. See, watch, watch, watch him cut him off on the sideline right here. Moore does a great job of stopping and coming back inside and locating the football. That's something O'Quinn didn't do. Consequently, he gets a big gainer. Loss of a yard on that last play by Arian Foster. It'll be second down and 11. Line of scrimmage, the Mississippi State 17. Mississippi State's lineup showing blitz. Play action. Stevens rolling left, throwing it incomplete in and out of the hands of a Mississippi State defender. That's Damon Glanton, and it'll be third down in law. Yeah, this wasn't a good choice by Nick. He, he got here, just throws a bad ball, and I don't know who he was throwing to, to be honest with you, but Glanton was in position to make the make the pick just didn't catch the football. Tennessee, uh, excuse me, Tennessee on third down conversions, four of ten. The Bulldogs, three of ten tonight. But I think Mississippi State was three of seven at one time. I don't think they've converted one since that last one. Third down, 11. Stevens, good protection. Fires a pass too high intended for Austin Rogers. And it will be fourth down, and Tennessee brings the field goal team on with one minute, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Yeah, this is a play you've got to have. Austin Rogers runs the out route. The cornerback, Washington, had fallen down, so Austin Rogers had, you know, he could have caught that ball and turned and possibly even scored on that play if he get the ball down where he can get to it. Daniel Lincoln will attempt a field goal 34 yards. Morgan Cox will snap it. Bram Cannon will hold it. Right down the middle, the kick is low, and it's no good. Might have gotten a hand up and blocked it. 
don't know. That little, it just looked like he tried a little punch shot, and he just didn't hit it solid. No, he can't see Coach Philip Fulmer didn't like it. I'm not so sure somebody didn't get a hand up on that. Okay, he's on the kicker. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, that's. Missed opportunities gives Mississippi State new life with a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Tyson Lee hands it off to the tailback. That, of course, is Dixon. And not much there. A little bit up the middle. It'll be second down. Rico McCoy makes the tackle for the Volunteers. A gain of three. Second down and seven for Mississippi State with a minute 12 to go. Tennessee went 45 yards in five plays, but they missed the field goal that would have put them up 16 to three. Tennessee blitzing, pass caught by the tight end. Nelson Hurst picked up seven. Now he may have gotten enough for a first down. We'll see, yes he did. It's a first down at the 30. And Nevin McKenzie makes the tackle. So here comes Mississippi State under a minute to go in the third following the missed field goal by Tennessee and the Bulldogs pick up the first down. <laughs> Lee dropping back, Tennessee coming hard after him. One man misses, another man misses, and a third man's got him. Big loss, Nevin McKenzie gets Tyson Lee a loss of six. It will be third down and very long. Yeah, Tyson Lee doesn't know what to think. Here comes Rico McCoy off the corner untouched. Dodges him, dodges another guy. Missed him twice. Yeah, comes back <laughs> up the outside. There's the other linebacker. Tyson Lee's going, hey, you know, I'm not blocking somebody. It's third down and 16. Line of scrimmage back to the 24, and that is the end of the third quarter. Tennessee in control of this one, leading it 13 to three as we're set to begin the fourth period of play here at Neyland Stadium. The Volunteers have turned it over to the offense. Brandon McCray, the intended receiver, D'Angelo Willingham with the pick. Well, Tyson Lee had plenty of time this time, but he tried to fit one in down the middle of the field, threw it behind McCray, the ball got tipped up. And Willingham was waiting on him. Alex Wilson is the guy that got a hand on the ball, tipped it into the hands of D'Angelo Willingham. First turnover of the game, and it belongs to Mississippi State. Tennessee takes over at the State 47. First down. Stevens gives it to Hardesty who gets a couple off left tackle. It will be second down and about eight. And there's Willingham. Well, Marcus Williams makes the tackle on Hardesty after a two-yard pickup. Second down and eight. Nick Stevens, 10 of 17 to this point, 136 yards and a touchdown. I'm giving him that. <laughs> Hardesty might argue about that, but I'm giving it to him. Pass. A pass over the middle. Got a man there. Complete. Just overthrown. Intended for Quentin Hancock. And Arian Foster was the guy that aired it out. Yeah, this is a this is a run to the right. The problem with this play is that Arian had to throw this ball a little sooner than he wanted to. Strong safety. Keith Fitzhugh broke through the line. Didn't really give Foster a, a chance to load up, and he just overthrew Quentin Hancock. Third down and eight for the Volunteers. We've played less than a minute here in the fourth quarter. Stevens, plenty of time. Pass thrown behind. Austin Rogers, the intended receiver, and it'll be fourth down. So the Volunteers have gone three and out in their last two offensive possessions. Yeah, that was a dangerous throw. He looked to the took to the left, then came back to the dig on the right side.
KJ Wright was in really good position there. If he throws the ball where Austin could catch it, Wright's taking it back the other way. Derek Pagess will be, be back deep to receive the punt by Britton Colquitt. And a high, booming kick. Tennessee, it bounces into the end zone. Colquitt almost had that one. He had the men down there, but it just skipped past them. Well, it, it, it skipped to the end zone. I believe somebody was in position and batted it back, but they'd already crossed the plane. Uh, he'd already stepped up. Vince Rogan was down there. He was already in the end zone when he touched that football. So it'll be first down and 10 Mississippi State at the 20 yard line and there is a timeout on the field with 1343 to go in the football game. There's Sylvester Croom, a 45 yard punt by Colquitt. Giving it got fits. Uh, they just can't handle him over on the right side. And, Chases Tyson Lee out again, makes him improvise and try and do something on the run. And when you do that, a lot of times it doesn't work out for you. Second down. Lee out of the shotgun. Looking. Threw it way behind the intended receiver. That's Christian Ducre, the halfback. That one could have easily been picked off as well as it was poorly thrown by Lee. Now we have third down at 10. Well, you had Vincent, Brent Vincent, and, and Eric Berry in, in the area. Had good protection that time, just nobody open. Do it to the crossing guy well behind him. Brent Vincent was in position, but he threw it in between both of them. Third down at 10. Just under 13 minutes to go in the ball game. And Mississippi State on third down conversions, three of 12 for the game. Tyson Lee back to throw. Tennessee coming hard. He reverses his field, rolls left, stays on his feet, still looking, still looking, picks up the first down, crossing midfield, and walloped at the 40, uh, Tennessee 50 yard, right at midfield. Lee was taken down by Eric Berry. He gained 18, but he ran about 70. Yeah, I think they might, you know, you know those guys put their hand, running backs put their hand up, you know, they want to come out of the game. You might be seeing him raise his hand here in a minute. He's he got to be winded after this one. He thought about throwing it, but he had nothing but open field in front of him. Barry just really took him down. First down. Yeah, he had, he had open guys all over the field. You know, he could have easily thrown the football for the first down. Dixon, there's an end around the flea flicker. Nothing there. Tyson. Lee, it's going to be caught at the Tennessee 35. That's Dixon, Dixon. I believe. 15-yard pickup. So a little razzle-dazzle-do coming for Mississippi State. And they get 15 more. Yeah, he hands it to Dixon, who flips it to uh, Robinson, who gives it back to Tyson, who underthrows it to well, I think Dixon he may on have the stepped out of bounds. He may have stepped out of bounds. I don't believe they're going to catch it or challenge it here. 11.52 to go. They give it to Ducre. Tennessee's got him back at the 38. Loss of about two for the Volunteers, maybe three. Chris Walker among several orange shirts to wrap him up. And yeah, Tennessee walked the linebacker up late outside. Plays really good down the line of scrimmage. And then Walker, Grace contained in the middle, takes Ducre down for a two yard loss. At the 39, second down and 13, following a three yard loss. This game's not over. 11 minutes to go. Mississippi State is driving. 
They're going to have to get points here, though. Pass. Intercepted. Eric Berry still on his feet. Berry at the 50. Berry at the 40. Berry all the way into the checkerboard. Touchdown, Big Orange. Alex Wilson with a deflection. Eric Berry with an interception. The 75 yard return, and the Volunteers are up 19 to 3. My goodness. Well, this is just a guy with a nose for the football. Oh, my. Alex Wilson, ball bounces off his knee, shoots straight to Eric Berry, and then he just does his thing. He can run with the football. You're not going to get him down. 75 yards later, touchdown. <laughs> He's winded. <laughs> 72 yards, the official credit for the touchdown return of the interception. Joe says nope, 75. Lincoln adds the extra, and it's 20 to 3. Volunteers with 10.37 to go in the game. Eric Berry shows you why he was a preseason all SEC and a preseason all American safety. Does the job. It'll be first down in 10, Mississippi State from the Bulldog 20, and they're down by 17. It's a three possession game now. Tyson Lee still at quarterback. And the crowd is chanting Eric Berry. 397 interception return yards. That is a new SEC career record. And folks, this kid is a sophomore. Christian Dupre is the halfback. And there's that West Brown again. Tennessee makes a sandwich out of Aubrey Bell at the 20. No gain. It'll be second down. And Mathis, number 46, Andre Mathis, was part of that sandwich. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good hit. Wes, Wes Brown is just abusing Quentin Salisbury, the right tackle for, for Mississippi State. Hadn't blocked him the whole second half. Lee, delay, Dupre, Tennessee chases him down from behind. They do not get him. He gets good yardage, but it'll be third down and about three upcoming after a seven-yard pickup by Christian Dupre. Nevin McKenzie makes the tackle for the Volunteers. Third down and about two, they say, after an eight-yard pickup. Mississippi State now four of 13 on third down conversions. Tyson Lee back to throw. Picked off, intercepted again. Demetrius Morley into the end zone. Touchdown, Big Orange. 32 yards, and the volunteer defense is turning this game into a rout. Good position by Morley on the plate. Bad throw by Tyson Lee. Throws it behind his receiver. Right there. Pretty easy catch and run. Touchdown for Demetrius Morley. Thirty two yards the interception return for Morley just minutes after Eric Berry runs one back seventy five yards. Lincoln's extra is perfect and Tennessee has a twenty seven to three lead over Mississippi State. To the left Tennessee's got him back at the fifteen yard line. Denarius Moore on special teams makes the tackle. Yeah, Moore was the first guy down there. Does a good job of tripping him up. And then the rest of the guys show up. Mississippi State first down and 10 now at the Bulldog 13-yard line. Yeah, we got Wesley Carroll coming in at quarterback. 
Well, Tyson Lee may not know who he is. He's been hit so many times tonight, and he's thrown three interceptions in three straight possessions. Carroll's pass incomplete, intended for Coeric Riley. And Morley was defending on that one. Well, so it'll be second down. Yeah, Rogan's playing the corner over there. There's a guy up short. He tries to throw it in the slot. Rogan reads the play and steps back inside, and he sent dead gum, and I had me one too. Tennessee has spread the wealth tonight. Three picks by three different receivers. D'Angelo Willingham, Eric Berry, and Demetrius Morton. Second down and 10. Carroll back to throw over the middle, caught. Picked up about five. That is Christian Dirk Dupre. And it will be third down. Yeah, if I was playing for Mississippi State, I'd be trying, I'd be trying to get me some short stuff and get rid of the ball quick. Stuff down the field has just been a disaster. Carroll rolling right, pass, almost intercepted again. It's incomplete. It will be fourth down. Eric Berry got a hand on it, almost had his second pick of the game. Just a bad choice by Wesley Carroll. He's running that. This is a play. You just throw this ball away. Get rid of it. I mean, look at all the four orange shirts around uh, McCray over there. There's no way you're going to fit that ball in. Blake McAdams will come in and punt the football. And back deep will be Dennis Rogan. He got it away. Tennessee put some heat on. It bounces near midfield, and that's where the Volunteers will put it in play. First down and 10 at the Tennessee 49. Only a 27-yard punt that time by Blake McAdams. The wheels are coming off the wagon big time for Mississippi State in this one. Is it possible we'll see a different quarterback or Nick Stevens coming back in? Yeah, Nick's going to play it, play it out. Well, you know, he needs snaps. I mean, he needs, he needs work, so what better way to work? That's true. Uh, of course, you could also say that <coughs> At this point in time, you're up 27 to three. You're not going to do a lot other than hand the football off anyway. Lennon Freer is the tailback. They give it to Freer. Freer up the middle. Follows the push to the 40-yard line. That is a pickup of 11. It's a Tennessee first down. Tim Bailey makes the tackle, but not before Lennon Freer gets 11. This would be win number 150 for Coach Philip Fulmer. They're the top three. Nealon with 173. Fulmer now with 150. And Coach Majors with 116. First down. Hancock in the motion to the near side. This is the give to the tailback. Career again spins forward for two, maybe three. Carlin Brown makes the tackle. Clock continues to roll. 7.23 to go. I think Tennessee's probably going to be content to, to do a lot of this. Seven minutes, 12 seconds to go in the, in, the, in the game. They're going to try and run as much clock as they can. Denarius Moore wide left. Hancock split out wide right. Creer still the tailback. They give it to Creer. Creer bounces straight ahead inside the 30. First down, Tennessee. Lennon Creer picks up 10 more. It's another volunteer first down. Good block by the fullback. Got him a little crease on the left side. Jumped up over the tackler and took it up the field. This guy can run the football. Eight rushes, 39 yards for Creer. He's averaging about five a carry. That one was for 10. Clock continues to move, 626, now 625. Tennessee first down at the Mississippi State, 29. Creer still at the tailback. 
give it to him again. Up the middle, picks up five more inside the 25. Tim Bailey again makes the tackle for the Bulldogs. I'll tell you what, if you're a tailback, this is when you want to be in the game. I mean, Mississippi State knows you're going to run the ball, but they're, they're at the point of the game where, not saying they're giving up, but they're probably not giving that 110% that they were given in the first quarter. They know what the outcome is going to be. So if you're a tailback, this is when you want to be in. This is when you can make some hay. Second down and about six. Second man through. Greer breaks the tackle, falls forward. It'll be third down and about two. Jasper O'Quinn and Zach Smith team to make the tackle. And Mississippi State calls time with 5.26 to go in the football game. You know, I'd say those guys, the defensive front, linebackers are getting a little gassed out there. Tennessee moving the ball pretty much at will at this point. I'm going to call a timeout and see if they give a little bit of a blow. Tennessee has done a super job tonight defensively. They picked off three passes, returned two of them for touchdowns. There's the first one by Willingham. There's Barry scoring his punt. There's Morley picking it off. Tennessee was third nationally in interceptions with 11 coming in with three coming out. I would say they may move up. They were first in the SEC coming into tonight's yeah. game. And I, and I promise you, when they get into film study this week, Elix Wilson, Elix Wilson is going to go in there and say, hey, <laughs> you know, I deserve some of that because two of them I deflected right to you. 5:26. That's the time remaining of the ball game. Tennessee leading at 27 to three. It was a six to three game at halftime. The second half has been all big arms. Third down and two now. Freer still in at tailback. The fullback still Kevin Cooper. Which is back to Freer. Freer cuts back inside, gets the first down inside the 20. He needed two, he picks up three. It'll be a first down for the Volunteers at the Mississippi State 18 yard line. First down at 10, 5-12, that's the time remaining and the clock is moving. Rushing yards last week against Georgia, Tennessee had one. Tonight against Mississippi State, they have 122, and State has a very good defensive football team. Career again inside the 15, picks up five, maybe six. Zach Smith, Keith Fitzhugh make the tackle. And I tell you, Mississippi State, the time of possession, they call timeout again. The time of possession is becoming a factor, but it's no longer in their favor. Well, they, they, the numbers were huge early. They had a two to one uh, difference in time of possession. But from that period on, I guess it's from the first quarter on, Tennessee has continued to whittle into that. Well, Tennessee's going to have Alabama coming in here next week. It's safely to say after a victory, their first SEC win of the year. Pat, how do you see this one? Alabama has struggled the last two weeks. They've won. But they have not done, they have not won pretty, let's say. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm one of the few, I guess, that is not a, I'm not a big believer in Alabama yet. I mean, they have a good football team. They've got a good offensive line. Uh, they've got a great wide receiver, some good little running backs. But it wasn't that long ago that they weren't a very good football team. You don't just click a switch and, and a new coach shows up and, and in 10 months, you're a whole different football team. I just don't buy that yet. I think they're a good football team and can play some great football like they did against Georgia, but they're also prone to come back to the pack just like everybody else. Well, we'll find out Monday what time that game will start. 
needless to say, will either be 12.30, 3.30, or 7. Tom Attical is telling me it could be 7.45 or 3.30, one or the other. This is really the first feel-good win of the season. Oh, no question. No question about it for Tennessee. First down, or rather a second down and four. Lennon Queer still at tailback. The ball is on the state 12-yard line. Denarius Moore is wide left. Quentin Hancock coming into motion. This is Queer. Dances back, spins away, fights his way down to the 10, picks up two, and it will be a third down. Jesse Bowman makes the tackle for Mississippi State from his tackle position up front. Clock continues to move. Now they stop it, and Mississippi State's called the timeout on three, state, uh, three straight plays. They're out of timeouts. Yeah, well, they've, they've just figured they stop it while they can and see if maybe they could shake a ball loose or something, run it back, have something crazy happen, and possibly have a chance to even get back in this game. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. That's not going to happen. Ten then I don't think he did. It'll be third down and goal. Carter McCraney made the tackle up front. Oh, I can't I, really tell. Uh, not too big of a pile. That always amazed me how these guys, you know, you got this mass of humanity in there. How, how can they see that from the sideline, whether a guy got in or not? Well, we have another injured player down for Mississippi State. And that's Cooper, number 93. Brandon Cooper, back up right defensive end, 6'3", 240, a sophomore. You know, Tennessee changed their practice this last week, Randy. I don't know if you read all about that, but this last week they had a lot more live practice, a lot more blitz work, uh, pressure work against the offense. Uh, they weren't taking people down to the ground, but I mean, it, they were. It was live, everything but that. And it appears uh, just from the results that we've seen tonight that that that, that has paid off for this football team. A very physical game tonight, and Tennessee has dominated the line play on both ends. I mean, yeah. they, they've actually gotten after Mississippi State's offensive people, and their offensive line has opened up holes tonight that I have not seen since last year. And, and what else they've done that they haven't been doing a, a great job of is, is they've been protecting. And tonight, they protected extremely well because Mississippi State brought a lot of people to a lot of different times. And for the most part, uh, the offensive line, running backs, tight ends, they had everything picked up. Now, on the other side, Mississippi State didn't pick up much of anything. I tell you, we've, uh, Tennessee's defensive line, I don't know what they ate for pregame meal, but maybe they didn't <laughs> eat anything. I don't know. They were really hungry. But I tell you, that this is they put on some severe pressure tonight, something we hadn't seen from them up to this point. Well, talk about offensive linemen. There's Vladimir Richard, who got a start tonight. And he's one of the reasons that Tennessee has dominated this game up front. Well, I'd say he's got to be one up. You know, he, he only bench presses about a million pounds. <laughs> well, Jock McClendon, the guy he replaced, set the school record of like 550 pounds. How do you bench press that much? I, I th think, and they said that he got to a certain point, I guess it's 550, got to, got to 550 and made him quit. Because that's enough. They were afraid that, you know, some bar was going to break or something. Anthony Parker is out of the game. And Brandon Cooper, who is help to his feet is I think he just got he got close to the tunnel and said I've had enough <laughs> well he's he's walking off under his own power that's good it, I was afraid it was a knee or something like that but he just got hammered he looks shaky is what he looks he looks like he's almost like to get his bell rung really Third down and goal, and then Queer's still in there. 2.50 to go. 
They give it to Creer. Creer, did he get in? I think he did. Touchdown, Big Orange. Lennon Creer, why not? A yard away. They hit a pretty good wall at the end, at the goal line. Bounced back, gave it a little second effort. They pushed in, and Mississippi State has another defender on the ground. Tim Bailey, this time who plays ahead of Brandon Cooper, who's already gone to the locker room. No, it's Jasper O'Quinn, a linebacker. There's, he got his leg, I think. I tell you what, Lennon Creer got this on the third effort. The second one didn't yeah. get in. Oh, he, yeah, did he did fumble. He fumbled the but football, he got it, but he got it back. And then he squeezed in under the pile into the end zone. Well, there's Brandon uh, Jasper O'Quinn after the play before Brandon Cooper. Lay on the field for a long time. Tennessee leads it 33-3. Greer was stood up. Great great hit there by number 10. Yeah, Dominic That's Douglas. Dominic Douglas. Yeah, he got after him right at the point of attack. Lennon Greer, 12 rushes, 51 yards, 4.2. Average and a touchdown. Nice work. Yeah, average would be much better than that, except the last three covered, you know, right. essentially one yard. 239. And O'Quinn is going to be helped off the field. So Coach Sylvester Kroom, whose team trails 6-3 at the half, has seen Tennessee really open things up in the second half. Daniel Lincoln will attempt the extra. And he nailed it. 34-3. Tennessee leads it with 2.39 to go in the ballgame. Looking at some other scores, East Carolina beat Memphis today, 30 to 10. Alabama hung on after jumping out over Ole Miss, 24 to 3, to win 24-20. Ohio State just killed Michigan State, 45 to 7 at Michigan State. Oklahoma knocked off Kansas, 45-31. Southern Cal, 69 to nothing over Washington State, and Virginia beat North Carolina, 16 to 13. Northern Illinois beat Toledo 38 to 7. Penn State no problem at home with Michigan 46 to 17 and UCLA leads Stanford 23 20 in the fourth. Arkansas 20 to 7 over Kentucky in the fourth quarter. And then the third South Carolina is leading LSU 17 to 10. And Texas is abusing Missouri. Yeah 35 to 3 in the third. Oklahoma State knocked off Baylor 34 to 6. Miami beat Duke 49 to 31. The kick by Colquitt taken by Pergas who fumbled the football. It was a big pile up at the 40. Second half possessions now for Mississippi State. Two punts. Three interceptions, the last two for a touchdown and a punt. State gets the ball back, but they did fumble it. Here's this was not the guess, this was number five, Robinson. Delman Robinson, a freshman. He lost the football, but it was recovered by State. So Mississippi State at the 41, first down. Wesley Carroll back in at quarterback. He keeps it. 
slides down after he picks up five or six. Pick up a five. It'll be second down, and the clock moves. 2:18 to go. And just faked the running play to the right side and kept it. Tennessee's not going to pursue very hard at this point in time. They're Adam, just, they're going to play a little umbrella defense. Adam Myers White made the tackle. Carroll draw play. This is a half. Wade Bonner picks up a yard. It'll be third down and about four at the 47. Clock moving with 140 to go. Tennessee will improve to three and four on the year overall, and they will be one and three in the Southeastern Conference. And if that Arkansas Kentucky score holds up, Kentucky goes in the cellar at 0 and 3. Tennessee in fifth place in the East. Carroll. Deep pass in and out of the hands. Intended for McCray, but Marcellus Johnson got a hand up and almost had an interception, which would have been Tennessee's fourth this game. I, I don't know what these, what's going through these quarterbacks' brains, to be honest with you. I mean, it, that's that's just throwing it dead into coverage, and that's that should have been going back the other way, just like the other three. Blake McAdams will punt it away. Yeah, Tennessee had nobody back. It's going to bounce. Great punt by McAdams. Inside the five and roll dead at the three. And that's where Tennessee will put it in play. First down and 10. A 50 yard punt with a little bit of a bounce by Blake McAdams. And I would imagine Tennessee would put in a new quarterback. I think we might see a little big B.J. Coleman here. What do you think? B.J. Coleman is in at quarterback. Jared Shaw is in an align, alignment. They put There's BJ. Yeah, they put BJ in to ruin his rushing average because he's probably like, going to do this kneel down for a one yard loss. Maybe not. I don't know if he's got room to kneel down. BJ Coleman from Chattanooga McCauley gives it to tailback, and he's going to be stopped. No game. Well, somebody remind B.J. before he kneels down to not kneel in the end zone. <laughs> so like I said, there's not a lot of room <laughs> there's not there. a lot. <laughs> Clock moving, 30 seconds. They'll have to run one more play, and then that would be it. Yeah, I don't believe he's got room to, to uh, kneel down. He's no. going to have to uh, hand the ball off. Tarn Poole is the tailback. Poole straight ahead. They tackle him in the end zone, but they stop him at the one with seven seconds, and that will be it. Tennessee is going to get a huge win for Coach Philip Fulmer, his 150th career win as they knock off Mississippi State 34 to 3 tonight here in Knoxville. And Coach Fulmer. And Sylvester Crew meet and shake hands at midfield. A complete victory, Tennessee's most complete victory, the one that, Pat, as you said, you feel good about for the first time all season. Exactly. This gives you something to build on. A really strong, strong defensive effort, a lot of pressure, a lot of big plays by your guys in the secondary. And on the other side, your offensive line, did a much better job coming off the football, establishing a line of scrimmage, and played essentially mistake-free on that side. Tennessee will face Alabama, the number two team in the country, here next week in Knoxville. And what a great way for the volunteers to go into the Alabama week with a 31-point victory over Mississippi State. Yeah, and Alabama's going to be a tough bow, but I, I tell you what, I, like I said earlier, I'm not a believer in Alabama yet. Tennessee comes out and plays. You know, they might could pull it off. Thanks to our great crew here at Neyland Stadium, and also thanks to Pat Ryan.
I'm Randy Smith saying so long from Knoxville where Tennessee has beaten Mississippi State 34 to three. Good night, everybody.